Hello, Juvie Day 17, and welcome to my RPG shelf. It's a very full shelf. It's full of stuff to do with RPGs, and I'm going to go through it because I couldn't think of anything else for my video today. So the first thing is this folder full of old RPG characters. I've definitely gone through them in a video before, so that's good. Next is a couple of these Dungeons on a Dime adventures, which are just cheap adventures that the guy was printing just to have a nice easy one. They're sort of not D&D specifically, but they are like intended for it. A Session Zero checklist that I found online that uh, seems to be pretty decent enough, but generally helps if your players have done this before. A couple of blank 5e character sheets. I was very excited about this, like, two months ago. Probably gonna get to it at some point. Hopefully. We'll see. The Crypt of St. Bethesda, a third edition adventure that uh, I remember reading a lot back in the day, when I was a young warthog. The Extraordinary Adventures of Baron Munchausen. Yep, this isn't actually an RPG itself, but it kind of is, also. This is my sort of GM folder that uh, has been used a little bit, but not as much as I would like because pandemic. Uh, a sort of historical thing called Chivalry and Sorcery. It's it's meant to be a quick start rules. I need to give it a shot. Okay, now we get onto the main body of the shelf. So, first of all, all of my five e-books. Fifth edition of d and I've got a lot of books for it. And... The Eberron Map, Player's Handbook, Dungeon Master's Guide, Monster Manual, Morden Kanan's Tome of Foes, Xanathar's Guide to Everything, Sword Coast Adventurer's Guide, Volo's Guide to Monsters, and Tyranny of Dragons Campaign, and Eberron, Rising from the Shadows of the Last War. I think I actually added in the bit to the thing there, so that's fun. Uh, third edition adventure called Scourge of the Howling Horde. I have run this before, didn't go very well. And then we go for a different system entirely. So we've got Numenera, this is on the Cypher system, and I've been wanting to give it another shot at some point. I have played it a bit, but uh, other people were running it. A Numenera adventure, Ashes of the Sea. The map that comes with Numenera, I'm not going to unfold it. Right, another system. Most recent edition of RuneQuest, which uh, I have been intimidated to try because it's a heavy system. Also, the bestiary to go with it, and a GM screen pack to go with it as well. Sixth edition Call of Cthulhu. Uh, I'm a bit behind. I should probably pick up seventh edition at some point, but oh well. And I can't remember if this was borrowed or not, but this uh, is 13th Age, which is a sort of... D&D adjacent product based on uh, Glorantha, the world that RuneQuest is set in. Mutants and Masterminds. This I can't decide whether it was alone or not, but uh, this is my uncle's copy. It's basically superhero D&D. It's um, not the most elegant system, but it works. A bunch of miscellaneous paperwork, including a bunch of 3.5 character sheets and some uh, miscellaneous uh, stuff that goes along with the whole Dungeons on a Dime stuff that I got because I was part of an event that the guy was running. And then, as with basically all of my shelves, I've got a second layer. So to start off, this is a bunch of adventures and bits and bobs that I got at various sort of eventy type things. Long time ago. A third edition source book called Ghost Walk, which I still maintain, I enjoyed a lot. Despite having never gotten to play it. A guide for making shopkeepers and just random stuff to do with that. A munchkin jokey thing called the Monster Manual 2.5. I did run an adventure involving Santa from this book. Then I've got a bunch of 3 and 3.5 based stuff, so I've got the Player's Handbook, the Dungeon Master's Guide, the Monster Manual, the Planar Handbook, the Psionics Handbook, the Deities and Demigods Book, uh, Explorer's Handbook for 3.5 Eberron, a source book from, uh, that I got from a uh, teacher at school that was based on the Demon Wars books. Uh, which I do kind of fancy trying out again at some point, or at least upskilling it. Uh, fourth edition books, we don't talk about fourth edition. And then we've got a, a bunch of other stuff. So this is Lovecraft, Myth of Cthulhu. It's bits and bobs to do with 
well, Lovecraft, um, because Cthulhu. The first edition of RuneQuest, reprinted uh, just a couple of years ago. A beta playtest for Pathfinder that, uh, yeah, it's basically D&D 3.75. The core rulebook for 7th C. I cannot remember if this was alone or not again, or if I managed to actually find it somewhere. But, um... It was an interesting one. I picked up this copy of White Dwarf to use as a reference point, and it was good for that, so I did that. And then I've got a bunch of Games Workshop based stuff, so I've got like Codex Space Marines, two Codex Tau copies for some reason, Codex Eldar, different edition of Codex Eldar, the Fantasy Miniatures 2002, so this was their award winning ones that they'd given the Golden Demon to and stuff and hasn't been looked at in some time. The Fall of Medusa 5 campaign thing. Codex Chaos Space Marines and Codex Tyranids. The Return of the King edition of the Lord of the Rings strategy battle game. And then the High Elves army book from 6th edition of Warhammer Fantasy. This was one I actually played. I did play this one, so that's something. I think I've still got all my old figures at home somewhere. And honestly, that's basically it, so... That's, um, that's my RPG shelf. Tell me about your RPG shelf, if you've got one, or just your game shelf in general, in the comments down below. Love to know. Tell me there. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and that you remember to like and share it, and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails over there to see other videos by me. Click on the link in the description to join my Discord, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next day of Juvie. Bye!